Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we are going to tackle the Winter of Woes Absorbing Man with a Robot Objective. Now as you know, there are two objectives for Paragon players and three for Valiant and each of them requires you to take down Absorbing Man with specific tag champions. Hashtag Gamma and Hashtag Robot for Paragon and Hashtag Sinister6 as Extra Objective for Valiant. Now this is a very unforgiving fight and that will cost you a bit of revives but don't worry hashtag robot is a bit easier and you absolutely don't have to solo it. I'll be honest hashtag robot objective was way easier it took me 11 attempts only and 4 revives to get absman down in that attempt. To break down the fight the nodes are damage over time immunity, enhanced parry that gives armor break, aggressive precision, no hit mercy. Adaptive Override, Indomitable, Brute Force and Buff Toggle Unstoppable. Now there are three main aspects to control in this fight to bring the Relentless Absorbing Man down. The Unstoppable every 8 seconds, the Crazy Passive Region, the Adaptive Change of Attack Type into Energy or Physical and the Spacing or how to navigate around Unstoppable with a single hit to avoid the damage from the Degen. There are quite a few hashtag robot champions that can do the job like Warlog, Guillotine2099, Nimrod, Darkhawk on the SP3s and Viv Vision with the constant heal block. Now I have a Guillotine2099 as a 7 star dupe so in this video I'm going to break down the fight with Guillotine2099. So let's jump into the fight and talk about it in detail. Now once the fight starts, use a parry and a heavy so you can switch the damage type on Absman to uh, energy. Remember not to use any pre-fights as the armors will help you tank the block damage. The whole idea of the fight is to keep Absman power drained with SP1 to stop him from triggering any specials and avoid regen and also not giving him any of his forms because when he gets his forms he's gonna do damage in block as well and the fight is gonna become difficult. But if you don't give him power, no specials, he's in his base form and there is no damage. Now it will be a painstakingly slow fight and will cost you a few revives but that's okay. It took me 11 attempts only to get this one done and on the 11th attempt it cost me 4 revives. So it's not a bad trade off thinking it took me 71 when I did with Shihulk. Now very important that you have to use heavy attack to remove regen even if Absman triggers specials and, and you're about to die from it. So it's important to remove the region. You can always revive your champion and go at it again. So remember that's very important and it will be a long fight around 8 to 10 minutes but it's easier than the hashtag gamma objective. So right here I am just trying to re-parry in the blocks and whenever there is an unstoppable I stun and use one hit and I dash back. So right here I'm gonna throw an SP1. I'm already up to 100 hits so I'm gonna do some extra damage holding my block Reparry couple of hits and hold my block again. I'm forcing absorbing man not to throw any specials. Reparry again, then a full 5 hit combo with an SP1, power drainy, and then I'm gonna hold my block again. Let him hit into my block, and then again, unstoppable. Used a single hit to stop the degen, and now again, I'm gonna go back in. So the whole uh, thing here is to wait out the unstoppable. Use your reparries. Don't worry about the block damage because if he's not going to throw any specials, he's not going to go into any of his forms. And if he doesn't go into any of his forms, he's not going to do any damage. So right here, SP1 again, he's going to power drained. I get hit, but because of using heavy attacks, I have the combo shield, so I'm not really worried about that. Again, reparry. One hit, SP1, and that is the name of the game. Keep throwing your SP1, keep power draining him, then slowly chip away. It's a much safer fight because there's going to be no regen. And during Unstoppable, you can use a reparry, and uh, you can do one hit and go back again. So right here, he just throws a special. Even in the Unstoppable, I use my heavy attack so I could remove his regen. That is much more important. Even if I died there, that would have been fine. I would revive and come back again. So right here I'm trying to do as much chip damage as I want but I died there. So this was a good run for me. I got him down 75%, 66% and I went back in again. Again starting off after I revive I am not using any pre-fights. 
I'm gonna use the heavy to remove the regen. Now the fight is in control. Just using hits during the unstoppable and now SP1 spam to keep him power drain. Here again, I will just hold my block, let him come and I will try to re-parry. During the unstoppable, the idea is to land the parry and during the stun you do one hit so you can avoid the degen. Again right here, have your attack, remove that. Make sure that if you get to a physical damage, you change it out again. So you can do some extra damage while the energy attacks are activated. And yeah, just like that is going to be a slow chip fight. So make sure that you play it really slowly and you keep an eye on the unstoppable. And that will help you clear up the fight. All in all, I think this was a much easier fight than the Gamma Objective. It was much easier to control. I could parry more and this fight could give me more control. So I really enjoyed the Robot Objective more and it cost me a lot less attempts. So I hope this video helps you out and helps you control the fight. Just going over again, all you need to do is to keep spamming your SP1. If he's unstoppable, try to go for a re-parry or if he tries to hit you once and go for a heavy attack, uh, just uh, bait out the heavy and then hit again. If he's unstoppable, go for a re-parry, one hit and go back and wait for the unstoppable to go out. As long as he doesn't throw a special, he's not going to regen or any one of his forms. And also when you go down below, when you go below 20% health, 15% health, you're also going to get your own region. Make sure to have both of the armor up with you. Do not use any pre-fights. Then you should be able to easily chip away on this fight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. It's another three minutes long. So I will leave you with the remaining footage and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.